Okay. And I felt like because you had the Yeezys, I needed a dumb shoe. <laughs> like a ridiculous <laughs> dumb shoe. Expensive than Popeyes. I should probably just stick to Popeyes. St. Jack was a little pricey for a sandwich, but you know, it was good. Shout out to St. Saint- Jack. <laughs> shout out to shout out to St. Jack. <laughs> it's harder can't to say. fucking talk. <laughs> it's harder to say than you think. What do you what do you drink in there? I've got a this is the Checkmate Pilsner from uh, Red Lodge Ales in Montana. Uh, but let's, let me just, can I just guess about something? Did you buy it because of the reference to chess? I did not. I bought it because it was one of my favorites back in the day. It's a Czech Pilsner. So it's like kind of a hoppy Pilsner. Um, I remember liking it back when I lived in Montana and then right before I left to come back here the other day, I stopped at Safeway and I bought like four different six packs. Oh, okay whatever they had in Dylan. I, I bought this and salmon fly honey rye and uh, Bayern summer Bach and uh, a kettle house sampler. So it had like cold mm. smoke and IPA, some half and uh, some kind of pale something. So I just had to load up on Montana beer, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I do that every time Yeah, I go back. Montana's got some good stuff. We don't fuck around. I mean, for Jody, not for me <laughs> anymore. Yeah, Whitefish, that that brewery up there, they do good work. Yeah, like my friends, uh, one of my high school friends' dads own it, or no, his mom does. They do, they got divorced, and I think she got the brewery in the divorce. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's that one called? Black Star Brewing. No, I, that's, I don't think that's the one. What's the one? It's in Whitefish. They make the Going to the Sun IPA. Pretty sure that's the only one in Whitefish. Is it called Black Star? Mm-hmm. Huh. It's it's like pretty old. Like it it like they had it there before. Like because I always remember it being there. Um, they sort of, um, from my understanding, they sort of revitalized it and they got distribution and they did this. No, it's Great Northern. Um, Great Northern. That's the one I'm oh. thinking about. Yes, it's the same place. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got, I got them mixed up. I think they they like rebranded or something. Okay. I don't know. I'm messing it all up. So no shout outs to them. I'm just gonna screw it all up. <laughs> no, it's all good. There was a brewery downtown, and it was like before breweries were a thing. Okay. And then I, I, Great Northern must have that was the new name that took mm-hmm. over that building. something yeah something it like is that. right downtown i've been at the edge of downtown house. yeah 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 okay so yes so i've place. been to downtown whitefish like once it's a cute little area so what i from my understanding it was black star brewing and then it mm-hmm. switched they had a black star beer later mm-hmm. what ruined what really actually was an the interesting thing about it is it was a brewery it was in town nobody cared about breweries though it was all mm-hmm. about just cheap beer so they started, they actually got distribution and they got some company to make it. I think it was Miller was mm-hmm. making it. And so they had the location and they were just using it as like offices and like, a, <laughs> <laughs> but they weren't actually brewing anything there for years. Mm-hmm. And then breweries became a thing. So then they were like, oh, we better like do this. And they, mm-hmm. they kind of pivoted. Yeah. And became Great Northern. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the story behind it. Yeah, uh, their beer is good though. I like their beer. Yeah, it's tasty. We were there. Um, that was some of the last beers that I had. Mm. Now that I think about it, not a bad last uh, beer. Because I spent New Year's there in Whitefish. So nice. Uh, but speaking of growing up, that brings me to. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go right into it. Let's yeah. let's get into the show. I'm uh, very excited about this show. I, I feel like this is going to be a popular episode because I posted pictures on my Instagram of it and it is like, it got me a bunch of followers like just by having a photo of this obnoxious shoe. Okay. And I felt like because you had the Yeezys, I needed a dumb shoe, <laughs> like a ridiculous <laughs> dumb shoe. And there's mm-hmm. a lot to me, 
uh, I hold sort of dear. I hated it at the time, but then like, I don't know. I kind of got it ironically. It's, it's a little much. It's a little much. I'll grab it. So today we're talking about the, uh, Os- it's the Osiris D3. <laughs> um, Nick, you didn't grow up skateboarding, so you don't remember the shoe at all. <laughs> but they re, so they did, here it is. Uh, I believe it was in 2000, I forget, 2010 or something like that. They did a, re, a reissue of this shoe. <laughs> it is ridiculous. I mean, like, if you look at it from, this is the angle that just is like, this isn't so bad. You're like, oh, it's okay. And then you like, you come around to the front. When you look at your feet, when you're wearing these things, it feels like you're wearing, or it looks like you're wearing slippers, honestly. <laughs> this is it's a definitely, silly shoe. it's the silliest, most ridiculous shoe that it, I own. It looks really dumb. Uh, you know, there's, you know how there's like the air pocket pass through yep. in, in Air Maxes? Yeah. They got it on the heel, mm-hmm. on the back of the heel. <laughs> In the middle <laughs> and in the front, <laughs> they got the pass through. There is an air pocket the whole way around this bad boy. <laughs> uh, so, what's up? Is it is it good for anything other than looking silly? So, like, is it, oh, this for skating? No, it's not. You okay. can't. You can't feel. So, there's a thing in skateboarding called board feel. This mm-hmm. has none of that because yeah. it's got an air unit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All the way, the whole way. Most shoes don't have an air unit in the toe. It's pointless. Like, mm-hmm. why? Why? It, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this is, this is like a shoe that, like, it's almost like these reissues that are happening of all the Jordans mm-hmm. where, where they're, like, they're not that comfortable. <laughs> you know, like, it, at the end of the day, it's like these Jordan Like, objectively, ones, they're not that great of a shoe. They're just... Yeah. Like it's the cool. nostalgia of it. And they look cool. Yeah. This is that shoe without Except the cool. Except it doesn't look cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I do kind of like wearing it because it's just like anyone who is a skateboarder knew about. This shoe sort of changed. This was like, it was like they took everything that everyone was doing and they put it all into one shoe. Okay. Uh, I don't remember the designer's name. But so the, the lore behind this shoe is... So it, it was, it was really popular in like the, the early 2000s and mm. then it, and then it just became super uncool and nobody wanted it, but it was part of the juggalo uniform at one point. So these things were going used, like not even gently used, like really used for, I, I mean, if you had a dead stock pair of these, you could sell them for literally thousands of dollars on eBay at one point before wow. they did the remake of them because juggalos were trying to get their hands on them and they didn't make them anymore. So like they were getting, you know, it's just like an, any other exclusive shoe or whatever. That yeah. No one can get and a <laughs> bunch of people wanted it. And there is a little bit of that. Like when you can't get it, you, you kind of want it more almost. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a little journey trying to get these ones. This is not the colorway that I wanted. I'll be honest. It is, it's like insult to injury. It is like the objectively the ugliest colorway that they had of the shoe <laughs> in the remake. Mm-hmm. I was hoping there was going to be hits of, I mean, like you're going to go this ridiculous. So I was like, oh, I hope there's some hits of like um, M3. There is none. It's just, this is it. That's There's it. no reflective. No reflective. Some of the other models, though, have a bunch of it, and I thought it looked cool. Huh. Um, yeah. No, that, I could see if they put some 3M on that shoe, there it would look kind of cool. It would help it, but it's like I mean, it's, it, it's it wouldn't look that cool, but you is, know. it is such a ridiculous shoe. It's a really silly shoe. I I appreciate how silly it is. I, I appreciate just how far they leaned into making a horrendous shoe (laughs) yeah and it is it is interesting so at when it came out was it good for skating like what why did they make it it was it it was like so it has so much padding so this was in the era where people were jumping down like crazy huge stair sets okay and 
and like heel flips were popular and like so people needed like extra padding yeah, to land that was otherwise sort of fuck up their feet or something right right okay there is a brand of shoe that actually does specialize in that now but they use like this really high-tech foam and mm. there's still a lot of board feel so it's like and it's it's mostly just heel because nobody like really i mean you you can bruise the balls of your feet skating but more it's getting bruised heels mm-hmm. which is where like you jump off too much tall stuff and then your heels hurt and it hurts to walk yeah um so and then it has a lot of padding for like if the board hits it and just like a lot of this is like this is like a knee pad of a shoe like it's a shoe a shoe (laughs) knee pad it's it's just it's got i mean i don't know if you can see how thick this tongue is oh yeah that thing is it is it's hefty it but i will i'm not gonna lie dude these are some wide, comfy ass shoes. They better be. I, I, uh, you can't I, I, build a shoe that looks like that no. and then have it be like narrow and cramped. Yeah, it's, it's, I like a wide shoe and <laughs> this <laughs> delivers on that. This is a wide, roomy shoe. I do some, some of the little things I like about it. There is this like ri- uh, ribbed, um, <laughs> toe, I guess you mm-hmm. would say. I really, I, I think that's just cool. I like that. I like a lot of the stylings of it. It, it. it does have, this is really breathable. So this is just mesh straight to your foot. So like that goes. Okay. Those parts and then. Those holes go right into yeah, your feet. Like you can, you can't really like see, you can kind of see through it. Not really. Mm-hmm. I, I think you had one of your shoes that was like that. Where it was like, but yeah, you can. Yeah. The, those react element or whatever yeah yeah those are see-through so this is a ridiculous shoe though (laughs) uh i'm gonna show you i'm gonna i'm gonna pop on the screen here okay and and show you here's the the colorway that i was like mostly going for okay camo with like (laughs) orange yeah and a white midsole I was I was excited about this one. The other one that I really liked was this one, but I could not for the life of me find it in a 10. Uh, I, blue and gray. So this gray on here, uh-huh. all of that is 3M. Oh, that's all 3M. Oh, that would be cool. It's like, this one's actually kind of cool. Like, Wait, and now it's available or? Not in my size. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Out of stock. One color in my size. Here we are, baby. Same gray, with the ones you've got. One gray slash lime slash fade. Yeah. In case anyone's listening, just audio and they want to look this up. Yeah. Gray slash lime slash fade. Gray lime <laughs> fade so. is the colorway. And it is, I looked so hard. I was sending you a lot of links as I was looking for these. You were. I remember that. It was. Because I'd get excited. You on quite the little journey there. Dude, I was, I was like. And the more I couldn't find them, mm-hmm. the more I wanted them. That was that it was sort of that sense, moment. <laughs> it just made me want the shoe even more and and like buy buy more aggressively. I mean, I did find some. I, I couldn't find a ten though. Uh, this this gives some of the. So here's so you can see the mesh a little bit better here, um, that goes through, on this one. Uh, but yeah, I really wanted. I did see this one in person, and I almost bought it. Uh, but my partner was like, you're going to spend $100 on a dumb shoe that you're never going to wear. And I was like, yes, I did. I guess I want to do that. <laughs> but I didn't have the show yet, so I didn't do it. Something interesting about these is these like lace lock things are pretty interesting. So the more yeah. you like tighten down on them, the laces get pulled in there. Mm-hmm. So like presumptively, you wouldn't have to um, tie, like- tie them. But I did still tie them because mm-hmm. then the laces... There's not that, that's all the lace holes that it has. Just, Just those, those four. four. <laughs> so the lace like had way too much because this would be kind of cool to just like have it poke out mm-hmm. and then just like wear it loose. There is, this is a thing on skate shoes. Um, and it's less of a thing now, but so on a skate shoe, typically this part, your toe wears out and then right here wears out. So like, this was supposed to be like lace protection. So you could lace it with this little tab. You could lace it behind that. And then that would protect the lace because this lace oh. breaks on like your kickflip foot. Okay. 
So like, cause you're scraping the board and then. Like, huh. That so they did put a lot of a lot. thought into these as a skate shoe. Oh, absolutely. There's like, there's a lot of technology in this, mm-hmm. but it, it just became like a joke. Like it was like everyone was getting thicker shoes, thicker soles, more lace protection. And then this came out and it was just like, this was just the, this was so like they, the it was the of epitome it. of every trend in skate shoes. They just yeah. took every trend just to put it the into one shoe. degree and yeah. put it in this crazy shoe. And it looked like that. So it and was a cartoon. Looked, yeah. And people were just like, oh, these are, these are still, this, and then people wanted them when they first yeah. came out. Okay. Well, this was in the era of like jinkos and stuff. So people were still wearing really baggy pants. So it was like super oh, baggy that pants. Would go, that would go with those. huge <laughs> shoes. Yeah, and then okay, as that makes pants sense. got tighter again, the shoes kind of went back towards like the classic things, you know, mm-hmm. more the dunks, like yeah, like uh, Chuck Taylors, bit, Vans, yeah, like kind of low kinda profile, started. more low yeah. profile shoes, just because those kind of shoes would look obnoxious with skinny jeans. You, yeah, you would you look very silly. You look so. They look objectively. They look silly with anything. Yeah, I'm very excited to wear these on stage once we go back to doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Just to sort of like, I don't know. So another- You should start performing exclusively in those. Like every time you have a showcase, like for mics, do whatever you want. But every time you have a showcase, always those. Bust the D3s out. Yeah. Doesn't matter what shirt I'm wearing. Just don't even- (laughs) Always Osiris D3s on stage. Always the, the- All right. So another random thing. Oh, I did find- I did uh, uh, do a little searching really quick, and I found one expensive pair. There's a $300 pair of them on StockX. It's their hundreds <clears throat> collab that they did. Oh, and it's kind of all hundreds. black. Yeah. It looks cool. This one isn't bad. I mean, but dude, if you were to, if you were to put this on your foot, it's like, it's so ridiculous. Like, Oh, it looks, it still looks stupid. But with it the just looks soul, a little it's not it, terrible. Yeah, no, it the colorway isn't bad. The shoe I'm, is still stupid though. I'm trying to get the front look. Yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get the front of it. It's so it's, it's not good. <laughs> this is so here's what I think this is hilarious. Mm-hmm. So Under Armour did a collaboration with um ASAP Rocky. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with this. I think you mentioned it to me, but yeah, bring it up. So this is it. <laughs> Don't what's tell it, me that this isn't what's a direct it look like rip from off. the front because it's a major riff off Dude, from the look, side. Look at the toe. Oh, it's got the rib toe and everything. It's got the rib toe. It's got the eyelets. It's, there yeah, it's got an there. air unit in the back and in the toe. In the it's toe. got those big eyelets. It's eyelet, got the eyelet lace yeah. locks. It's got the mesh holes right here. <laughs> like and then it's got the ridiculous toe. Like it's and under it says tongue. under armor on the back instead of the what's the profile from the front the it looks front. like it's really similar oh dude it's it's the same shoe they oh but they put different laces in it but <laughs> it's the same i do think this one looks slightly better <laughs> like well this one was made in you know i mean god it's so but only smaller. slightly this one was made in 2018 like even even the little like frowny face thing that's in the mm-hmm. front there, you've got that on the other now, one. Now, what's too. this ASAP Rocky shoe going for? Uh, it is. It's hard to find this one. Oh, it's really rare. Yeah, like th- there just isn't any available. But there's a mm. nine for seven fifty. They didn't make too many of them, mm. if I recall. Uh, there was two colorways. There's this one and this one, but hilariously in my research i mean god dude i was looking at it and i was just like the copy i mean it is like some of so many of the lines are the same like they just did something slightly different but it's like apparently he really liked this shoe and mm-hmm. so when they did uh they did a collab they were he was like i want you to make this shoe for me because they don't make them anymore so like if they were still making them I could see that, but I just thought that was hilarious that uh, <laughs> that this is like, yeah, um, and it and they and they uh, retailed for what are they two fifty? I think it's two, yeah, yeah. two fifty. 
whereas the the D three was one ten. I got mine for ninety nine though. <laughs> <laughs> uh i i thought that was i thought that was really funny that and oh uh in my research the when these dropped on either instagram or twitter Mm -hmm. osiris the brand yeah like called them out hardcore and oh did they yeah they had like side by side photos they're like huh this shoe looks familiar (laughs) and then they had like side (laughs) by side um that's awesome yeah, I mean, this is, it's it's just, it seems so blatant to me because there's like the rib toe, like there's, yeah, but they did it with like leather instead. Mm-hmm. Like, like, it, like they the definitely plastic. like material wise upgraded from what the D3 was made out of, but yeah, nah, that's, there's that's a little bit shit. of leather on it, but it's not like that high quality of leather. Yeah. And they like, you know, they removed this they put this back here mm. i mean but it's still <laughs> it's, it's a tiny just, tiny margin it um, is yeah it is a pretty blatant ripoff like it was very much inspired by <laughs> like it's it's like i feel like it's there's inspired by and then there's just like photocopying and this <laughs> feels like a photocopy to me <laughs> I mean, they changed a bunch of stuff. It seems like they, it seems like what they did is they photocopied it and then they changed enough to not get sued. Yeah. Like, well, we could get rid of this here. They they just kind of, you know, had it, they photocopied it in black and white and then did like a coloring book type of situation. <laughs> right. That's, that's how it. they created that shoe. Because the other thing is, if you know, if you've ever looked at Under Armour shoes, this mm-hmm. looks. I have not. Zero. This looks like zero of them. Like, think about what you think an Under Armour shoe would be. Honestly, the only one I've seen is uh, Cameron Haynes, who's a professional bow hunter, has a signature boot from Under Armour, and it's camouflage and has the Boa lace system. Okay. And that's what I expect <laughs> Under Armour to make. Yeah. So, like, here's one. Here's this is sort of or like, like what regular all their shoes, shoes look like. Okay. So, me. like every running shoe that's so ever like, been made ever. Yeah, they just look like they're just. I mean, this looks like a rip off of the Adidas Ultra Boost or something. Mm. Like, yeah, it just looks like a generic running shoe. Really, it's got a UA label on it. Yeah, I mean, it's like cool. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's probably a great shoe to run in. And then they've got these like boot looking. Things. Those look awful. Yeah. No, none of their shoes look good. Like I was like. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think I think I may have looked at Under Armour one time, like looked at their website and like, eh, I don't care about these shoes at all. These just feel like, do they feel, to me, they feel like they don't have their own thing to me. I feel like Under Armour isn't a shoe company. They're not. They're not a shoe company. They make shoes, but they're not a shoe company. They make Yeah. Like the thing that they make is like compression like Yeah. clothes. Yeah. Like that's what they started Yoga out. Yoga pants as. for dudes. That's <laughs> what <Yeah>. they make. <laughs> yeah, like the compression Yoga shirts dudes. and the compression <laughs> like shirts. They're for they're the they're, they're like a really good if they're like a broy Lululemon. <laughs> Yes, they are Lululemon <laughs> for bros. They're Lululemons for bros. Fuck yeah, shout out to Under Armour. Lululemon <laughs> for bros. But I think okay, that they predated, awesome. <laughs> they predated Lulu. I think they did. Well, they were a big thing. I remember like 15, 20 years ago, whenever they came out, like those Under Armour shirts. Mm-hmm. Like those yeah, were... Just the, the shirts, yeah, which were the, like... The I black like yoga pants. School. <laughs> I was in like middle school and like the kids that were really into football and like into sports would wear fucking Under Armour shirts. Yep. Like those tight Under Armour. We were in like sixth grade. Mm-hmm. It was so stupid. But they're just like, yeah, I'm wearing Under Armour. It's like. I remember my brother is into sports. Mm-hmm. And I remember for like for Christmas or something, I asked my mom what to get him. And she was like, well, he really wants an Under Armour shirt. And so I like, for years, I would just get him whatever. I think I got one with like Bobcats or something on it or something. Like, oh, okay. From the college. <laughs> like, I would just get him an Under Armour yeah, shirt. Like, I have some clothes from them. Like, I have a hoodie. Like, a 
Montana State hoodie that's made by Under Armour, and it's a nice hoodie. I don't think I have I, any Under Armour. I have a stuff. pair of sweatpants by Under Armour. I have I a pair I, of those compression shorts for like hiking. Oh, really? Working out, I, yeah. I, I mean, clearly don't do that. So just to wear. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm 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 a real I'm a big athlete. You know, I'm I'm yeah. just a physical specimen. Yeah. So you know, I I I can work out so much that I need Under Armour shorts that I haven't worn in four years. And uh, they're not that comfortable I'm, those shorts that I have, but that might be my problem. Maybe maybe I just yeah. You know, my 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 booty is too thick. Or yeah, like you got that. you got that thick booty. <laughs> I've been doing too many squats, you know. Yeah, you better skip a couple leg days. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna skip it. And I'm not gonna skip it. I'm trying to be a thought on Instagram. That's my new career goal. So a thought. Yep. What's that. Wasn't it mean that hoe over there? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like just the just the girl you? that posts booty pictures on the internet. Mm. It seems like a great career. A lot of them make a lot of money doing it, you know. I have a long way to go. I bet you. I bet you they're I, I think, really unhappy, though, you know? I, you know, some of them, you know, maybe <laughs> with enough therapy, I bet they could get that. <laughs> but they can pay for those therapy lessons with their booty. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they got fucking free Lululemon gear for days, so. <laughs> right? I just dry a lot of tears with all that fucking lycra. <laughs> yeah, like, it's so absorbent. <laughs> like, it's moisture wicking. <laughs> and he can, it even wicks the tears you away. You can cry into it. Aww. You can cry into it. That's the new. Uh, you got two pairs, one for crying, one to wipe up the Ben and Jerry's. Aw. <laughs> no, I'm sure most of them are happy. Dude. You know, right yeah. now they got a great career choice. They can keep, they can work from home. They yeah. can continue to live an af- active outdoor lifestyle. <laughs> Taking right. photos, socially All they need distanced. is a mirror and a phone. <laughs> yeah, that's a socially distanced activity. It is. They're, they were ahead of the curve. <laughs> these, these young women are entrepreneurs. These are yep. American heroes. Yeah. They're living the American dream. <laughs> and I salute them. I like this tangent. Instagram thoughts hit me up. Yeah, Thanks Instagram comedy, thoughts. Sliding these DMs. I'm curious what are what are some of your let's. I'm gonna bring it back to the shoe because we're almost out of time here. Um, what are your what are any any final thoughts on this shoe here that you like opinions? No, Just a, rip it apart, a, dude. It's a piece of art, you know, and uh, not everybody, <laughs> not all art is for everyone, and not everyone has to understand every piece of art, you know. Yeah, and sometimes art gets better with age you know some artists have to die and be dead for two three four hundred years before their genius is recognized and i believe this may be the case with those shoes because as they are here 19 years after they originally came out (laughs) yeah they're fucking horrendous it does say d3 2001 on the bottom 19 years ago yeah so the more I couldn't find these shoes, the more I was excited about them. Yeah, because it was the I have second literally... worst thing to happen in 2001. <laughs> <laughs> that was solid. That was pretty solid. Uh, Thanks. I only kind of wanted these. And then as I couldn't find them, and I haven't, I've never, I've like not seen anybody wearing them <laughs> like in person in such a long time. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, Okay, I really like for me. Th- then it became important to get these shoes and add it to my collection. It it was important to my collection because it it was the same, but in like this other realm of like it's the same as like when you can't um, when a sneaker's like really expensive, where it's sort mm-hmm. of like okay, this is a little more than I'm comfortable spending. I feel similar with this shoe, where like I was. Uh, I was more excited about it because it felt like, oh, less people have this. And I kind of have this personal thing where like, that's one of the reasons why I do like trying to go for some of those shoes. Like I went for those ridiculous, we went for those ridiculous uh, SB dunks that dropped yeah. today. The, the uh, Grateful Dead dunks dropped today, guys. Yeah. It's, uh, what the fuck is today? And June? we're probably, yeah, we're July probably. July 24th. I said, and June, we're I'm banking fucking... these episodes, so this is not going to come out. <laughs> I know, but I've, I've watched a couple of our old episodes, and I w- was wishing we said the date because it oh, was okay. kind of like 
When like, did when they record was this? 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 is two, three months ago. What, what are we talking about? Right? The world has changed. God. July twenty fourth, two thousand twenty. That's when we're doing this. Both yeah, days. that's when we did this episode, and it uh, we did not get the shoes. But I was like, I wanted them because part. I wanted them more because I think more people like because they were more exclusive. Yeah, and not gonna see like yeah you see yeah them all the over. fact and, that you never see them all like, over like yeah that is kind of cool. Uh, and this guy that I. Um, admire named brian anderson he's a pro skateboarder uh he has been posting all of these video clips of him skating in all the different colors and he had some clips of skating like the chunky donkeys and i was just like you know what way to go brian <laughs> his <laughs> yeah. pro models are so sick uh, yeah bring them up um Let me see some pro models um I want a pair of these, but they are so damn expensive. And you're going to just be like, oh, of course, Bjorn. Of course you want these. Because you can guess right now what they are. Camo. Camouflage. <laughs> but these are sick. Camo dunk highs. Yeah, I would, I would rep those. With, with like kind with of blaze like blaze orange swoosh. Yeah. And, and you know, then, dude, when this podcast takes off, you know, when we have two billion listeners instead of just one, um, and we can I'm definitely buy... going to start hunting in those. Like, I'm going <laughs> to make some hunting videos where I hunt in, like, ridiculous shoes. This is... That's a great idea. It, so, 400 bucks for these, if you were to get them right now. For his... But these are sick. It's like a denim, too. It's not just... It's like oh. a... Like so, a, it's like tougher than... It's a denim most. camo, and then it's got um, suede, and then a tumbled leather swoosh and then hmm. i also like this about it god it's oh yeah it's um the the gum sole it's like a almost it's got a little yeah, bit of like no clear. that sole does look good it it's pretty cool this is one of my favorite uh of the of the but dunks. they're like four or five hundred dollars they're uh 400 for these yeah that's a little pricey which is a little much for a pair of dunks but i mean mm -hmm. they're not there's one the size sixes are going for four. I mean, this is just probably one of those like ridiculous. Like, yeah, it's asks. one of those that there's only one pair. Super of asks. So the guy yeah. is asking like a stupid amount. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. But so this guy, he's he's a huge role model of mine. Uh, he he's he's super masculine, and he came out like four or five years ago. Hmm. And I I really he he wasn't like all in your face about it and he and he's into bears <laughs> and <laughs> I've, I've sent him some underwear and oh like, nice i've uh hit him up a couple of times like um tried to go skating with him the last time he was here but i didn't get a chance to and uh he but he's like he's like a really rad dude mm -hmm. shout out to uh brian anderson on this one nice uh i i think he he did a lot by doing that like for skateboarding because skateboarding is traditionally pretty homophobic and mm. and uh him coming out everyone it was like he was cool so mm -hmm. and he was really good he is really good at skating and so nobody could deny those two things so it just be it was just like oh oh he's gay whatever it made like it kind of and then it just like made it more accepted yeah, no, that, that yeah, that makes sense. Because previously, it would always be like there was a couple other guys that came out and they were like, kind of whack and like weren't popular. They weren't that cool, and then oh, they, and then that, so it was just so like, that didn't help. Course, it didn't help. It, 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 yeah, we needed a cool guy. <laughs> like <laughs> we needed somebody cool to yeah. to sort of like, but he also isn't the kind of personality. He's not that out there personality mm -hmm. that like he's like the chill artist type versus yeah. the like wild and crazy out there and so he didn't want to be the poster child for like gay skateboarding but then mm -hmm. he has basically become that in some respects but yeah. in like his own but in way. like his own way so it's yeah like, nice yeah good for him no that's awesome so uh would we buy would would we you clearly yeah, never somebody, buy them 
<laughs> yeah, if somebody were to break into your home and steal only those shoes and the insurance is covering your ninety nine ninety five. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely replacing these. But I'm also, I mean, I'm probably going to hunt for another color, but I don't know if I can find another color. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Nick, if you ever find, if you ever, I just came across a pair. If I, if I come across in any colorway, colorway, just buy it. No, anyone but this colorway, buy them for me. Okay. <laughs> I will right. pay you back. I'll Venmo <laughs> the shit out of you. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll uh, keep my eyes open. All right. I think that's going to do it for this episode. That was super fun. Uh, everybody, please like and subscribe. Follow us. We're now on Spotify as well. And uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye.